Hello friends, this is Raj Sastri from Raj Option Trading. Today is September 27, 2021. I will quickly cover TTM squeeze indic indicator and talk about what are the great stock and option purchasing ideas for the week of September 27. So with that, let's look at TTM squeeze, look at few stocks to buy and also call or call options and also swing trading opportunities. With that, let's jump in. So TTM squeeze indicator tells you when a stock is going to break out of its uh, normal trading pattern. This is indicated by a tight compression of volatility where Bollinger Band is within Cartner channel. And that really tells you stock has to move. It has to move fast either on the higher uh, direction or a lower direction. So this is a great indicator. You can look through a little more detail. So all we are looking for is when the TTM squeeze happens, indicated by red dot, we need to see how is the longer term C wave. Is it above zero or below zero? This line being zero, if it's above zero like it's shown here, it's a, it's a long signal. We could buy stock or call or call option. But if it is on the um, negative side or below zero, um, somewhere like here, then you would not uh, buy Instead, you, you look at shorting or buying a put option. So with that, let's jump in here and look at what are the few stocks we can think about. So here we got a list of stocks we can look at. I will quickly walk through this. We'll pick up a few stocks in a little more detail and talk through them. So as we look through here, the way this is organized is we looked at the stocks where there's a one day squeeze or a three day squeeze or a one week squeeze or a monthly squeeze. So those are the ideal candidates that we should look at to see if there's a good opportunity for a swing trading. Um, and uh, like we talked about, whenever there's a squeeze that tells you there's a tight compression of volatility and stock has to move and move fast, either on the higher side or the long side or the short side. So with that here, we got list of stocks top of the list we got AMC as you all know it's a you know movie chain here um, and as you see here insiders are um, selling a little bit institutions are buying and that kind of compensates here and as you scan through here it's, it's got uh, sales growth here um, and also gross margin and we got a three-day squeeze here <coughs> when the squeeze is happening see what's going on in the IV percentile IV percentile which indicates um, IV rank, implied volatility rank is pretty low and also RSI is low. That tells you when there is a squeeze, we got low volatility and also stock is sold off. Those are the typical indications you can think through uh, for stocks to go on the higher side. And as you look through here, we got a um, short ratio, a high short ratio of 22%. That also tells you there is a catalyst here stock can go up on, on any good news then as you scan through here we got float of 449 there is enough float there's enough shares available uh, if folks want to cover the short i typically like a little bit less float but amc being a 20 billion dollar market cap company i think float of 449 is okay and then as you scan through here there is a small um, price increase in one day chart that tells you there is some good sign here. Probably we should look at, um, you know, buying the AMC stock itself or buy call or call spread. I know many of you might, may not be liking AMC because uh, fundamentals are not great. But I think uh, what this chart is telling you is really take a look at AMC here. There's a short squeeze in a three-day chart. It may be worth buying a little bit. So that's how, you know, we kind of go through this. <clears throat> then we got a couple more here, CAPR, uh, ITUB, and so on and so forth. So the key thing to look at here is see what insiders and institutions are doing. For example, here FSL, it's um, institutions are buying here. There is a three-day chart. There is an indication saying there's a squeeze. If you look through here, IV percentile um, is low. RSI is a little high. That tells you, hey, you know what, stock has moved up a lot. Uh, you could wait here a little bit, even though there is a um, three-day uh, squeeze here. So we'll look at this one also into a little more detail. 
and then we got a few more as you can scan through we got inside institutions buying mmat big time and as you scan through here rsi a little higher um tells you wait and watch a little bit and we got go ed we got insiders buying as you scan through rsi a little higher so typically we don't focus on high rsi candidates instead we look at a little bit low rsi candidates where there's a higher chance of succeeding so with that let's uh, jump in here first let's uh, look at the broader market and see what markets are telling us with that let's go to think or swim for td ameritrade so here i got a few um op uh, futures here starting with the s p 500 futures to tell what market is telling us so as you scan through here s p 500 futures it's a one day one year chart after dropping down for uh, last week or so um, you know uh, now it's showing some progress so last week uh, there is some progress we got two good up candles here and i think right now futures are wondering where to go as you see there's a small um, you know small red candle here indicating we might have a little bit uh, lower opening here in s p 500 and then we got here nasdaq 100 nasdaq 100 also as you can see here um, after going up uh, last uh, last week it's also showing some signs of weaker opening so i think this year also we can think through and look at some good stocks to buy on the pullback and then we got here um, dow jones industrial average this is a little bit stronger of the candidates after dropping down uh, precipitously here it's showing some strength last week even today i think it's a small opening it's up 62 here or 59 it's showing some strength but uh, a little, not too much strength and then last but not least we got russell 2000 it's also showing some small increase in the price uh, in the futures market so with that you know expect uh, today's market to be not a great market but probably a chopping range or a trading range by looking at the futures and how they're trading right now and in the meantime, let's look at uh, what gold and bonds are doing. Uh, typically, uh, when the stock indices are down, uh, there will be you know, some indication on the bond. Let's see what bonds are doing. Bonds are also down, as you can see here. We got uh, stock market um, you know, up last week, bonds are down. Even right now, bonds are down, as you can see here. So this may help the stock market. We'll keep a watch on this. And if you look through crude oil here, which is, um, you know, crude oil is jumping as you can see here. Even futures are up in crude oil. I think it's a you know, good market in crude oil and uh, energy business here. You know, as, uh, as some of these stocks will drop off, it's good to buy. Right now, I would not chase these crude oil and crude oil stocks, but wait for a little pullback. Market always rotates. That's our opportunity. And then we've got gold here. Let's just scan through here with gold gold is down so even though stock market is down gold is also trading along with the broader stock market folks are not too comfortable to buy gold but normally when the gold falls like this or buying some gold it's always a good uh, hedge against the market and last but not least we got uh, we got dollar here dollar is kind of trading sideways here typically when dollar comes down like this it will it helps the commodities like crude oil and gold but right now you know um, it's not helping the gold but it's helping the crude oil with that now let's jump into amc and see what uh, we can make out so amc uh, let me bring up this chart here as you scan through amc here rv percentile is very low 3.6 as you can see here this is a one day one year uh, chart um, as you can scan through here, we got uh, stock not doing much here. Uh, it's a little bit up as you can see here. Um, and uh, from a DMI perspective, it's negative right now, bearish, meaning red line is above uh, blue line. Uh, it's uh, you know, slightly bearish, not too much bearish. RSI indicates uh, pretty uh, stable right now. 49 indicates stock is oversold. And if you look through here uh, on the balance volume, money is flowing into the stock, 
folks are buying the stock. And if you look at the check in money flow here, money is flowing into the stock. That's also a good sign. So with this, looks like uh, this is a you know, good trade uh, to take. And we look at uh, John Carter's TTM squeeze indicator for AMC. As you scan through here, like we talked about, this is you know, the way to read this chart is I always like to look at multiple time frames. We got a one day chart here, a three day, uh, two year chart, and a five year weekly chart, and a 10 year monthly chart. This, this always gives the idea how is the stock doing on a longer time frame or multiple time frames for that matter. Um, so as you scan through here, we got a squeeze um, forming in a, a three day chart here. When the squeeze is forming, uh, the shorter term C wave is below zero, a shorter term A wave is below zero, but longer term C wave is above zero. That's typically a bullish sign uh, for John Carter. Uh, we should uh, take the long trade here, uh, buy the stock itself or buy the call option and uh, you know basically uh, go for a long trade. So with that, uh, with that let's jump in into the option chain and see if we can uh, do something here with the AMC. So as you scan through here, uh, AMC uh, $40 stock and as you see here it has gone up as high as 72.62 in last 52 week uh, time frame and what we could do if you want to buy stock outright you could just uh, click on ask and buy the stock outright I think that's a good idea also but instead if you want to do call options you could uh, do Delta uh, 70 or so so if you scan through down here we got Delta 70 right here you could pay $12.18 and buy this uh, call option so you will break even if the stock goes above 47.80 which is seven dollars from the current stock price so this is one way to play uh, you will basically play pay uh, one to eight zero twelve hundred eighty dollars to buy this call option uh, but if you don't want to buy call option outright or if you're a little bit conservative uh, you could uh, you could do something different you could do a, a call spread so if you do a call spread here um, right now stock being 40 you could do 35 45 call spread so that way you put um, um, not too much money at risk so if you do 35 45 call spread here you could do here 35 45 there you go so if you do this uh, you're paying three dollars and sixty cents you're not putting too much money in the, in the market too much money at risk uh, but you know if you look see here it's a ten dollar wide spread you're putting three dollars and sixty cents into um, this uh, trade remaining portion of ten dollars which is a uh, good maybe say six dollars and uh, forty cents is your profit potential you are more than doubling your money so if I confirm and send here uh, you are you are paying 360 to make 640 and your break even right now is below the current stock price that's a conservative strategy you could uh, employ a strategy like this in AMC if the stock goes about 38.60 which is uh, current stock price which is below current stock price you would break even I think it's a good trade to take and we'll probably look at next opportunity here so let me go back to this chart here as we scan through here we got a few more here CAPR uh, capital it's a low price stock here um, institutions are selling here and there is a good quarter over quarter improvement or a um, sales growth here RSI is a little higher I would uh, pass this trade on and look at a little bit lower um, um, RSI trade here we got iTub iTub I've been watching this as you scan through the performance here it's not done great as you see here um, 6 month 11% 1 year uh, 13 31 percent and five year negative such candidates I would not uh, you know uh, go for TTM squeeze because we want stock to move by looking at what it has done in the past it's not moved much and next is Tesla Tesla as you can scan through here RSI 65 I would uh, you know probably um, look at Tesla because it tends to go up and down a lot but if you look through Tesla here it's gone up last uh, one day five day ten day 
Um, so I think you know you could buy Tesla, but uh, given RSI a little higher, I would pass up Tesla. And then you got a BAV here, two dollar stock. And if you look through here, nice growth here from a quarter over quarter perspective, gross margin perspective, handily beats rule of 40. And as you scan through weekly squeeze here, and if you see what it have done in the past, um, not great, I would say. Right now, stock has been falling. So with the ABAV, you could do what you could do is you could uh, buy the stock outright here, given a small load of the stock here and uh, wait for a nice uh, squeeze here. It may not give a good squeeze indicated by past performance. Let's look at quickly a bag and see what we can make out. So as we scan through here, let me go into a chart, a bag. You have seen this stock not doing great. You know, sometimes it goes up, but uh, pretty much uh, doesn't move very well. So as you can see here, a bag, Right now, it's uh, on the balance volume is positive. Uh, DMI perspective is negative right now. Red line above blue line. And check in money flow is indicating money is flowing out of the stock. So as we scan through here, let's go into TTM squeeze chart here. In the TTM squeeze chart, as we scan through, um, right now we got a monthly squeeze forming. When that's happening, um, the longer term C wave is below zero. Uh, that's not a positive indication. But what you could do is as a contrarian, you could uh, buy this as you see here, the wave is curving up and sh uh, short term A wave is also a little bit on the positive side and the long term C wave is trying to curve up. So you could be a little bit contrarian here, you know, buy this against the uh, normal wisdom um, and wait for a pullback. So there is no option trading opportunity here, you could buy the stock outright. So with that, let's go back here and look at a few more. And we've got fuel sell here. Uh, as you can see here, stock is, uh, has gone up. Um, uh, as you can see, it's gone up in five day, uh, 10 day, and one month. I would pass this up, you know, given RSI a little higher. And I would probably look at candidates like, uh, uh, even Smile Direct is, uh, Smile Direct is RSI is, uh, Let's see here, um, SDC, RSI is 47. You could look at Smile Direct, given there is a nice quarter over quarter sales growth. Uh, Smile Direct is, uh, you know, uh, RSI is 47. You could take a trade in Smile Direct here and buy the stock outright, given it's $5.68 stock and there's a squeeze in the daily chart here. Um, and if we are to go quickly to TTM squeeze indicator here, SDC. As you can scan through daily squeeze here, um, and the chart, the way we start to curve up here, the moment you see the dark blue on the on the below zero, that's a positive indication. So you could uh, go long in Smile Direct, given it's starting to curve up here, and go from there. And next we'll look at a uh, couple more here. <clears throat> we got Kasawa. Kasawa right now RSI is uh, 50. Um, stock has been going up off late. I would not chase here. I would wait, wait for it to come back a little bit. And as you scan through here, we got gold. Any gold bugs, I think it could be a good time to buy some gold here. Given RSI is low here. IV percentile is also low. There is a monthly squeeze here which can last for months. So I would uh, buy some GDX or even some stocks like uh, Barrick Gold um, and some of those gold stocks and uh, you know, buy them slowly here. And we got AstraZeneca here as you scan through nice sales growth. This stock has been not doing great for a long, long time. Looks like finally it's, uh, it's got a squeeze in a three day chart and nice sales growth. Um, you could, uh, you could uh, buy some AstraZeneca into this uh, um, you know, right now AstraZeneca, right now RSI is a little higher, I would pass this up. Instead, I would look for, look at other candidates with a little more lower RSI. Coca-Cola is also okay right now, you know, given RSI is low. If you're a dividend investor, it gives a good dividend. You could buy some Coca-Cola. Um, if you to look at Coca-Cola, which doesn't move well, that's why um, you know, if you're an option trader, you would not do this. But if you're a stock purchasing person, stock buyer, you could look at some Coca-Cola. 
um, as we look through here we got uh, a squeeze forming in the monthly chart and when the squeeze is happening longer term a wave is about zero that tells you coast is clear go buy some coca-cola here and take it from there and we'll look at a few more here as you scan through we got uh, uh, Fisker a uh, little high you could even look at ET energy transfer partners low RSI and low IV percentile you could buy the stock outright or even buy some call option and as we scan through here further down um, pass up all high RSI candidates low RSI perspective green sky penny stocks I would not uh, venture into that too much given it's not done well in the past there is no assurance it will do well in the future. And then you got MetLife here. As you scan through here, um, it's, it's also having a one day squeeze here. And uh, no sales growth here, as you can see. Uh, but uh, RSI is 53, indicates it might turn around. It's done okay in the past. I think you could, you could buy some uh, MetLife uh, into this um, you know, squeeze here and take it from there. <clears throat> and then we got a few more here um, you can look through um, the things I typically love doing is look at the RSI look at IV percentile the moment RSI is low IV percentile is also low you know both below 50 you know I would like IV percentile to be even below maybe 40 or so below 40 look for those candidates and then buy call or call option or even the stock for that matter and as you scan through here, you know, stocks like uh, DOC here, $18 stock. As you can scan through here, low RSI and low IV percentile. You could look at some of the stocks like that with the low RSI and low IV percentile. As you scan through, there are a few candidates like GSK here. Again, stock has been not doing great for a long, long time. Low RSI, low IV percentile. You could look at that one too. And Fubo TV for that matter, low RSI, low IV percentile. This jumps up and down a lot. You could, uh, you know, do some, um, some um, with this also. So for example, if you go to Fubo here, <clears throat> stock is down as you can see here. And if you look at the three-day chart, we got a dart forming here, a bunch of darts. When that's happening, longer term C wave is about zero. So you could uh, try trading Fubo here. And uh, if you see here on the balance volume, it's positive for Fubo. And uh, checking money flow is pretty steady. Let's go to option chain for Fubo. And I would typically go um, 100 days out here. And $25 stock, it's gone as high as $62. That's a lot of uh, movement. You could buy stock outright here. Or you could uh, look at the option chain by Delta 70 option here, which is uh, right here, Delta 74. You could pay $6.50 and buy this call option if the stock goes about $27.50, which is about $2 above current stock price, you'll make money. Every dollar stock moves, this option will move by $0.74, cents, indicated by Delta. So if you don't want to buy the option outright, you could also buy option spread given stock is at 25 you could do 20 30 option here so let's go to 20 30 there you go so you're paying four dollars and fifty cents it's a ten dollar wide spread remaining five dollars and fifty cents is your profit potential so with that confirm and send here you pay 450 to make 550 doubling your money proposition here and as you can see here, currently the break even price is below the current stock price. It's a conservative strategy. Your profit is capped at 550, but your loss is also capped at uh, 450. I think it's a good trade to take. Good trade to take. So with that, let's uh, jump in here. Look at a few more candidates here. <clears throat> I think there are a lot of great candidates. You know, typically I like to trade stocks like Nvidia, $30 stock. RSI is 49, IV percentile very, very, very low. That tells you right now it uh, could be a good opportunity to buy some NVT, NVTA here and go from there. And as you scan through here, I think uh, stock has uh, not done great. It's done great in five years. So they say movement stock sometimes moves up. 
um, you could uh, buy some NVTA here. As you scan through here, uh, look through the RSI levels. Uh, some of these are high RSI, you can skip them and look at Baidu. Baidu could be a compelling one here, low RSI, low IV percentile. Chinese government is cracking down on Baidu. I think um, you know all the internet companies in China could be a good one to look at. As you scan through here, um, look here, we've got uh, iShares. This is uh, the government ETF here. Um, it's a hedging type play here. Let's skip that. And Tapestry could be a good one too. RSI 45. A little high for me, but it's okay. And IV percentile is 12. You could look at Tapestry here. It also has got sales growth here. As you scan through, we got a few more here. Doc, we talked about it. And we got uh, HTA and Bloom Energy. I think, you know, even both of these are good. Bloom Energy being low, IV percentile, you know, could be a good one to buy into this, um, you know, into this um, weakness here. And Cinemark, it's, uh, you know, it's not into AMC's league, but I think right now, a uh, little high RSI, I would pass this up. So you could do same thing with this chart here. Look for candidates with the lower RSI and lower IV percentile. If there is a squeeze, and if you see some life in the stock, it has done great in you know one of these time frames here. Then you know there is a life in the stock. It moves, and you could uh, you know go with those candidates and buy stock outright, or call or call option. You know I like many of these stocks. I've highlighted a few stocks for you in the green background or a gray background look at those candidates those could be good ones to initiate um, a stock purchase or a call or a call spread so with that uh, you know last slide is here we got few more here you know there are uh, you know few good companies here you could look at um, focus on low rsi candidates and low iv percentile and whenever you see nan that means there is no option itself probably could uh, trade stock outright so with that uh, thank you very much happy investing and trading please subscribe